Thank you so much for being here. Oh, uh, you, you have been such a friend to this show, so I love you and I just appreciate like crazy. Well, I love you and I um, so appreciate you and what you have given to the world over the last 19 years. The contribution is, you, it's endless. And not only have you shaped my life and given me so much, you've been such a dear friend to me. You've changed so many people's lives who have been to the show, who have watched your show over the last 19 years, and your incredible crew here has put something together that I think you should see to sort of say thank you. Oh. And I don't think you've seen it. Let's take a yet. look. And that is Ellen DeGeneres, everybody. I so appreciate the support, and it's it's been really hard to convince people that I can, you know, do a daytime show and be this person that I know that I am and that I've always tried to be. And this is a huge thing for me, and I, I'm so happy doing it, and I hope I get to do it. Whatever you believe, we yeah. are born, we are all individual, we are all unique and we are supposed to be that exact person. Right. And as long as you stay true to exactly who you are, you will be rewarded in ways that you can't imagine. Just 20 years ago, people were pretending to be who you weren't in a way that we no longer find acceptable. And you are responsible for so much of that change. I was a comedian, I was funny, and I just also happened to be gay, and I just decided truthful was more important than a career. She's pulled off what's been called one of the greatest show business comebacks of all time. Thank you for being on our very first show. I have a gift for you. It's, you, a, it's a welcome mat. It's a welcome mat. For your Thank guests. you. When I'm on stage, I feel like I have a purpose. I feel like I'm contributing to this planet. Hi. I think the Oscars are probably the premier event. And guess who is hosting this year? I am. And I think you should think of yourselves as winners. Not all of you, but the people who have won before should think of yourselves. This really is an amazing feeling standing here on this stage with this bust and this beautiful statue of Mark Twain. For only the fourth time in the 90-year history of Warner Brothers, stage one, forevermore will be now known as the Ellen stage. Portia gave me an incredible gift and created the Ellen Fund. I went to Rwanda to help continue the work of one of my idols, Diane Fossey. It's my honor to present the Carol Burnett Award for Excellence in Television to Ellen DeGeneres. Let's talk about you. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> here's Ellen, here's the world. <laughs> Look at the carrots. Oh! It's important to taste them. Make sure they're... They're delicious. Mm. <laughs> Finish and play. Okay. Why am I the only... Did, you, did we pay for that? Mm -hmm. Man. You got money? This is a lot of Can work. Can you get my face on money? No, I can't. Why not? No, we don't do that. Why not? You know, you're really annoying. I'm really... It's like taking a three-year-old to the store. You know, what I wanted to do when I started out is, is make people happy and make people laugh, but then this has turned into something so much better for me that I get to change people's lives. You have done so many amazing things for millions of people, and I am just so grateful for everything you do for this country. We reached out to the people at Walmart, and uh, they want to give each one of you a four-year scholarship. <laughs> The most important thing I'll ever do is to stand up and make a difference for those who need voices to speak for them. Thank you. Yeah, it's so and I say this 
with just the deepest love for you. You make everybody feel better. You make everybody feel better. Turn off the news, turn on Ellen, you will feel better. Yesterday, if you haven't heard, uh, the California Supreme Court overturned a ban on gay marriage. So I would like to say right now, for the first time, I am announcing I am getting married. And maybe it's because I'm gay that I think we should all be equal, but um, I feel, I think people are gonna be who they're gonna be and we need to learn to love them for who they are and let them love who they wanna love. It's easy to forget now just how much courage was required for Ellen to come out on the most public of stages almost 20 years ago. To see somebody we liked so much, somebody who could be our neighbor or our colleague or our sister, remind us that we have more in common than we realize. Push our country in the direction of justice.